Hi my loves, so today I'm starting with my skin. I typically don't do this, but so many of you have been requesting an updated skincare routine, and to be honest, within the past couple of months, not much has changed except like my moisturizer, so I decided to just throw it in here and share it with you. So, to start off, I'm gonna be using my Boots Expert Anti-Blemish Scrub and Mask. This is my favorite cleanser. I've been using this for like the past six months, and I just can't get enough of it. I love how gentle it is on my skin, but at the same time, it really cleanses and leaves my skin feeling super fresh and clean. So I start by massaging this with my fingers, and then I take my Clarisonic Mia 2 to really get in there and cleanse away any dead skin or residue that I may have. And this is literally the key to clear skin. I definitely recommend this if you have acne or acne scarring. Then I go in with my Fayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel, and this I get on Amazon. You can also get it at GNC. I love how it has no alcohol in it because it doesn't burn my face and it smells like roses, so it's literally bomb. Then I take my two favorite moisturizers. One is a day cream and one is just a regular hydrating moisturizer. This is also from the brand Boots. I just love this skincare line from Target. It's amazing on my skin. I'm gonna mix the two just for extra moisture and hydration. And in case you're wondering, I do do this skincare routine in the morning and at night. The only difference is, of course, at night, I use a night cream from the same brand, Boots, from Target. So then I go in with my Clinique eye cream. I honestly don't see much of a difference with this, um, so let me know of some good eye creams down below. This one was really expensive, so it's kind of disappointing, but this is just what I'm using currently. Then I take my Mario Badescu facial spray and I drench my entire skin with this because this leaves my skin so soft, moisturized, and hydrated, and I love it so much. I got this bottle from Amazon. I'll leave a link to it below. Then I'm going in with my Bath & Body Works Vanilla Mint Methyl Lip Shine. I love this stuff. If you have dry, cracked lips, you need this in your life. This is the only thing that ever has worked for me. I've tried every lip balm you can think of from the drugstore, and this is just my holy grail. For those of you asking how my lips are so glossy in the beginning of my makeup tutorials, this is it. This leaves them really minty, fresh, moisturized, plump. This is just the best, so you need it in your life, girl. So let's get on with the fun part, makeup. So I did go ahead and change just because I was in my pajamas, but what I'm going to do first is just take my Anastasia Brow Definer. This one's in the shade medium brown. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows as per usual. I really liked this stuff. This is my first time using it, and I love the way the brush is because it's an angled tip, so it gives you so much control over your brows, and it makes it so easy to get a really natural, defined, fuller brow. The product is just genius. I can't tell you that I like it more than my brow pomade because I love my brow pomade so much, but this is a really good product. Then I take Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC as my primer, and I did go ahead and apply some tape to get a really crisp edge. So jumping right into shadows, I'm picking up Salted Caramel from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm using this on a fluffy Sigma brush. I'm just going to be applying this as my transition color. This is going to help to give me a really nice gradient between my lid color and the darker crease color that I'm going to be using. And I love this peachy brown shade because it's perfect for any look. So then I'm taking my Anastasia Self Made Palette. I'm going to be using the color Pink Champagne, which is my absolute favorite color out of the entire palette. I'm going to be spraying my brush with some NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray just to give me a more metallic, foiled eyeshadow look. I'm packing this color on all over my lid. This is another Sigma brush, and this shade is just stunning. I love how it's like a pinky, silver, metallic color. It's just really, really pretty. So I am going to be packing this on until I get it to be pretty intense, and I just love it. So I know this is another neutral look, but this is the look I was wearing in my 2015 Beauty Favorites, and a lot of you were requesting it. So yeah. Then I'm going to be taking the color Hot Chocolate from the same palette, and I'm going to be using the brush that actually came with the palette, which I really, really like. I'm taking the more precise end of it, and I'm just going to use it to draw like a V on the outer part of my eye. I'm only going to focus the darker part on the outer part of my crease because I want the lid to be like the main pop. And then I'm going to use the other side of the brush, which is the fluffy side, just to blend out any edges. This look is super easy. It's really just about adding product as you go. It's like literally four shades so it's really stunning and I love it because it's so easy um, I'm gonna of course do the same thing to the other eye just kind of adding product as I go and then blending it in as I go as well and then I'm gonna go back into the color salted caramel and I'm gonna use this just to blend out those edges to make everything really diffused and blended looking blended looking yeah you know what I mean 
I think this look is just so pretty for a date night because it's really soft and glittery and I am obsessed. So then I'm picking up the color Treasure and I'm going to be using that to highlight my brow bone. I'm using this brush that came with my Naked 2 palette and then I'm going to take the other fluffy side of it and I'm going to use that to blend those edges out because no one wants harsh lines. Then I'm going to be removing the tape. As you can see, you get a really nice crisp edge and now we're ready for liner. So then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I'm going to do my usual wing as always. This is my Holy Grail liner. If you're a beginner, I think this is really good for you because you have so much control because the brush is so tiny so you can really get in there and just sculpt out your eyeliner and make it look bomb. So I'm going to be following along with the line that I have from the tape and I'm just going to do my usual wing. And I always do mine really thick because I just love me some thick winged liner, especially with a smoky eye. I'm just like, yes. Then I'm going in with the Salon Perfect Lashes and then moving on to the face, I'm going to be using this Hard Candy Shine Free Primer, which is one of my faves. I love this. And then I'm picking up my Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. This one's in the number 75. I just did a first impression on this foundation. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked below. I really like it, but to be honest, I think this color is actually a little bit too light for me. It does oxidize, but I still think I could have got like a shade darker. So I'm going to have to like mix it with another foundation or a darker shade of this foundation to give me my perfect shade. But I still made it work and this is still a beautiful foundation. It gives really nice coverage and it's it's very natural looking, which I love. So I'm just, of course, blending this in with my favorite beauty blender. Then I'm picking up my NYX HD Concealer in the shade Beige. I love this color because it's like a yellowy tone, and I absolutely love yellowy concealers underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to be using this to conceal and highlight, and then, of course, blend it out with my good old beauty blender. Then to set that concealer, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I'm taking the yellow shade, which is amazing, and I'm going to be using that to set all the areas where I have applied concealer. Wet n Wild recently reformulated their contouring palettes, and this one is amazing. It's in the shade Caramel Toffee, and you literally need it in your life because it's like four or five bucks, and it's like too good to only be four or five bucks. Then I'm picking up my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus just to set my foundation. And then I'm going to be taking the other side of the contouring palette from Wet n Wild and I'm going to use this to contour. I know they say that you're supposed to use like ashy colors to contour, but personally I love warmer shades and this color is perfect. It is very pigmented so you do need to go very light handed with it, but I think if you're a little bit tanner this is going to be the perfect bronzer for you. I just love it. So I'm going to give myself a very natural contour and I'm using the Sigma F40 large contour to do this and I really love the turnout. I just love this palette. You just need to go get it. I got mine from Walmart. Then I'm taking the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. I'm going to use an e.l.f. stippling brush just to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. I think this is just the perfect everyday mauve shade and it goes really nice with the eyes. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Glow Kit. Mine's in the shade That Glow. These pans are huge. This is well worth the splurge, I'm telling you. I'm going to take the two shades on the bottom and the yellow shade at the top, and I'm just going to highlight my face like I always do. I apply about like 10 layers. This highlighter is so smooth and beautiful, and it's just, just go buy it. I'm telling you. Go buy it, and then thank me later. <laughs> then I'm going and finishing off the eyes. I'm taking the color Treasure and I'm just going to use that to highlight my inner corners. Then I'm picking up the color Blossom which is a light purple and I'm going to use that to smudge that underneath my lower lashes to give me a little bit more dimension to my eyes. Then I'm taking this L'Oreal liner in the shade Silver which is a beautiful silver color and I'm going to use this on my waterline for a really pretty subtle pop. And lastly, I'm just going to be applying some Bottom Lash Mascara, and this one is by L'Oreal. So to finish off this look, I'm going to be lining my lips with the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. It's been my current favorite because it's the perfect nude color, and it just glides on the lips. Then over top, I'm going with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Clueless. I love this pink because it has some purple undertones, and I think it just complements the eyes really well. Okay, so that does complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!